Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about non-aqueous titrations. As its name suggests, non-aqueous titration means there is no involvement of water as a solvent. So now coming to the basic concepts involved in non-aqueous titration. So in normal acid-based titration or aqueous acid-based acid titration, commonly three concepts are applied. First one is Arrhenius concept, second one is bronsted lowry concept and the third one is Levi's concept. So here Arrhenius concept is not applicable because it is uh, applicable only for aqueous solution. So these are three concepts which are involved in normal acid based titrations or commonly used concepts. So first one is Arrhenius concept. As you know, Arrhenius concept is only applicable in aqueous solution because acid will give H plus ion and uh, basis will give OH minus ion. So here uh, in non-aqueous titration, water will not be used as in solvent. So this is not applicable. Now coming to the second one, which is bronsted lowry theory. What is bronsted lowry theory or bronsted lowry uh, concept? According to uh, this concept, acid is proton donor and the basis are acts as a proton acceptor. Acid can donate proton only in that case when base is present for accepting that proton. This is the limitation for uh, this bronsted lowry concept. So uh, let's take an example. For example, SCl and NS3 both will react and it will form NH4 plus plus Cl minus means ultimately it will be NH4Cl. So SCl is acid, NS3 is base and NH4 plus is conjugate acid. And the Cl minus will be known as conjugate base. So that is why this bronsted lowry concept is also known as conjugate acid base concept. Because here acid HCl is acid, it is donating one proton to uh, NH3. Then this NH3 is uh, converting into NH4 plus and the uh, SCL will be converted as Cl minus. Now uh, this NH4 plus will act as a acid because one hydrogen ion is there and uh, it, is, it will be convert as a conjugate acid. And uh, this Cl minus ion uh, can act as a conjugate base because now it is able to accept uh, one H plus ion. So this is a bronsted lowry concept is basically known as conjugate acid base concept and uh, this concept is applicable for non aqueous titration. Let's still take some other examples. For example, if any, any chemical entity is there, if it is accepting any H plus ion, then it will be con converted as conjugate acid if it will be releasing any H plus ion then it will be converted as conjugate base for example NH3 is there then after accepting one H plus ion, it will be converted as NH4 plus, means it is conjugate acid. And after releasing one H plus minus, it will be converted as NH2 minus. It will act as a conjugate base. Let's take another example, uh, which is HSO4 minus. After accepting H plus ion, it will be converted as H2SO4. H2SO4 is conjugate acid. And uh, after releasing one H plus ion, it will convert it into SO4 2 minus. It will act as a conjugate base. 
So uh, this is mainly uh, Bronsted Lowry concept which is involved for non aqueous hydration. All these concepts are used to define acids and the bases. Now coming to the third one which is Levi's concept. According to Levi's concept, acids are uh, electron acceptor and the bases are electron donor. So uh, acids are electron uh, pair receptor and uh, bases are electron pair donor. Now taking some examples. For example, if we are taking H plus, it will accept two electron and it will be converted as H2. So H plus is acid. Now taking uh, one example of base, which is Al. Cl4 minus 2 AlCl4 minus 2 it will be converted into 2 AlCl3 plus Cl2 plus 2 electron. This AlCl4 is giving 2 electron, it is releasing 2 electron, and here it is accepting 2 electron. That is why AlCl4 is uh, base and uh, H plus is acid. It is base. So these are the basic concepts involved in uh, non aqueous acid based hydration. Uh, first one is Bronsted Lowry concept and the second one is Levi's concept. A near concept is not applicable in uh, non aqueous acid based hydration, it is only applicable for aqueous acid based hydration. Now coming to the important part of non-aqueous titration, why non-aqueous titration is used? As you know, water or aqueous medium is commonly used solvent for various titrations, but here apart from water we are using other solvents. Why we are using other solvents? So there are three reasons for using other solvents instead of water. So these are the three reasons uh, behind why non aqueous hydration is uh, used and why water is not used as a solvent in non aqueous hydration. First one is reactants or analytes are not soluble in water. In that case we cannot use water as a solvent because uh, those analytes will not be available for quantitative uh, estimation in titration. Now coming to the second reason which is reactants are reactive with water. Some, react, uh, some reactants or uh, some analytes can react with water and it will convert into another compound or another product. In that case, we cannot use water as a solvent for uh, those reactants or for those uh, analytes. Now coming to the third one which is reactants are very weak acid or very weak bases in nature. If our reactants are very weak in nature, in that case, by using water as a solvent, 100% dissociation will not be achieved. So we have to use different solvents like some protogenic or protophilic solvents can be used according to the nature of the reactants or uh, nature of the uh, analyte. Okay. If for any acid uh, pKa value is greater than 7 and uh, if for base P 
पी के ए वैल्यू इज लेस देन सेवन इन दैट केस दिस एसिड्स और दिस बेसिस आर वीक इन नेचर एंड दे कैन नॉट बी एस्टिमेटेड बाय यूजिंग नॉर्मल एसिड बेस टाइटेशन सो दिस नॉन एक्वस टाइटेशन इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर एस्टिमेशन ऑफ दिस वीक एसिड्स एंड वीक बेसिस नाउ इन नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सॉल्वेंट्स यूज इन नॉन एक्वस टाइटेशन थैंक यू